Exposing a service on your local computer using Cloudflare Tunnel is so easy that it's only two steps. The first is download a program called Cloudflare D, and the second is to run this command. So for example, I have a site that I've made, there's an HTML file there, and when I serve it, this spits out a local IP address that I can go to, and there's my site. However, I can't share this IP address with you. This is localhost, so this will only work for my computer. That's where Cloudflare Tunnel comes in. I can run that command from earlier. It's going to contact Cloudflare. And it's going to instantiate a subdomain of tricloudflare.com that we see here. So I can go to this link. It's the exact same site, but this time around, it is a URL that I can share with you. So that's it. That's the whole tutorial. That's how easy this is. The rest of this video is about what's going on here, why you might want any of this, and then a little bit about how to use public host names. Two quick caveats. I'm not affiliated with Cloudflare in any way. This is not a sponsored video. And I'm only going to cover that one scenario I showed in the tutorial, which is how to expose a website over the internet using Cloudflare Tunnel. Let's see what that scenario looks like without tunnels though. And it's very straightforward. You have a customer going to their browser, they type in a URL, that request gets routed over the internet and it makes it to your machine. This is as close to a direct connection as you can have with the internet being involved. And you can essentially think of it like the customer is directly hitting your machine. And as a result, there are certain implications of that. For one, they need a way of hitting that. They need a routable IP address. And that means you're either sharing your public IP address with them or you're sharing a domain name that will resolve to that IP address, which means that anyone could have access to that service that you're sharing. You also need to lift any traffic blocks. So for example, you might have an operating system level firewall. You might need to forward ports in your router. This really just represents extra work you have to do. It's not that it's very hard work. And then you also have to consider that extra work with security. You can mitigate certain attacks, but you need to be the one to mitigate those. So with a tunnel, we still have the customer's browser on the left here, and we still have your service on the right here. But now we have this orange rectangle in the middle that represents Cloudflare's network. So instead of a customer talking directly to you, they're going through Cloudflare to get to you. And now we get certain benefits by having that. For one, you don't need to share your public IP address with the customer. You only need to share it with Cloudflare, and then Cloudflare will keep it to themselves and know how to route to your machine. You also don't need to forward ports. The way this is really working is you have an outgoing connection to Cloudflare. So rather than an incoming connection where you need to know wh where should this go, and that's where you forward ports, it's an outgoing one and all of the customer's traffic will be funneled over that. You get some attack protection. So for example, distributed denial of service, Cloudflare could stop any of that traffic before it makes it to your machine. And then you wouldn't have to worry about your bandwidth or your service being hit or taken offline. And then they also have something called data breach prevention. I don't know too much about this, but there are more details on their website. There's also no hassle SSL. I didn't need to set up a certificate. Earlier you saw I hosted something and it was HTTP. And yet in my browser, it loaded as HTTPS. What's nice about this is that you won't get a view in the browser of this site is not secure. Are you sure you want to proceed? It's just going to be handled for you. And then on top of all that, this is free. It's not like these are paid services or anything. And so what doesn't this give you? Well, it's not going to protect against all attacks. It's not magic. If you were to host a database and there's no password, then people could connect to your database and just start deleting tables. And then also it doesn't give you easy tunneling of UDP traffic. You can do this, you need to use private networks. And what this essentially means is that if you're running a game server, you need to have other people download that Cloudflare D program and then run a command. Pivoting to public host names here, what I showed off at the very beginning of this video was a feature called Quick Tunnels. It actually does not require an account at all, and it's what spit out this URL. This URL though, dolls dramatically competitors curriculum.tricloudflare.com, is quite a lot to say, let alone to type in. And so what if you wanna use your own domain? And for that, you actually do need a Cloudflare account and you need to associate the zone to your account. So for example, I have the domain bot.land and I'm not gonna show how you connect that to your account because I need to delete that domain and then re-add it. But that process is pretty straightforward. And once you have that set up, you just need to make a tunnel and associate a host name. So I will show that off now. Here we are on the Cloudflare dashboard. I've gone to zero trust and then I've clicked networks and then tunnels. And that's what brought me here. And what we're doing is we're making the same thing that we did in the original tutorial, but just with an account and with a domain name. So I'll click create a tunnel here, and I'm going to go with a recommended connector of Cloudflare D, and I'll type in the name YouTube video for this. And now they give you commands for several different operating systems. It knows that I'm on a Mac right now, so it gave me two commands down below. One is if you don't already have Cloudflare D on your machine, and the other is if you do have it. Now, these commands contain a JSON web token, which is very private, so do not ever share this. I'm going to show this in the video and then just delete the service afterward. So here we have the command and I'm going to type in my password and that's it, we've done it. So I have now connected this, it detects that it's connected and I can click next. 
And after that, all we need to do is associate a public host name. So I could say something here like youtube.bot.land and then select my service, localhost 8080. And I'm going to click Save Tunnel. And what's going to happen here is that Cloudflare is going to make youtube.bot.land, so that subdomain of my site, bot.land, and then it's going to make a CNAME record pointing to my tunnel. So I should just be able to go to youtube.bot.land and see that hello world from earlier. And that's it, it was as simple as that. I just wanna show one last thing that wasn't obvious to me when I was learning this, and it's how do you host two services from the same machine using Cloudflare Tunnel? So here I have youtube.bot.land showing hello world, but I have made another server now, and we're gonna start up a server for this one. And when I load this, we see hello from another server. And the way you do this, you don't actually need to make a new tunnel. What you need to do is you need to go into your existing tunnel and then click public host name at the top, just like you did the first time around, and just add another host name. So here I'll just call this YouTube three. I was just doing this before and I made YouTube two already. And then we're gonna pick the domain again. And just like earlier, we're going to pick what this resolves to. So 8081 in this case, and then click save host name. And that should be it, just like before, it should make another host name and it should point it at this new service that I have. So yeah, now we have youtube3.bot.land and hello from another server. So the next time you wanna expose a service over the internet, I hope you consider using Cloudflare Tunnel. It really is as easy as just downloading this program and running a command. For my own real world use case here, I'm hosting a lot of different things off of my mini PC that I bought. And that way I don't need to pay monthly for rented cloud servers. And I'm using Cloudflare Tunnel to point at these services. I did a video on this whole thing. If you wanna check it out, it's in the description below. I hope you learned something watching this. And as always, thank you very much for being here.